Good afternoon. So, um, in doing some more research on the uh, internet uh, about nineteen early 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 NFL football, uh, the nineteen thirties, the single wing era, that would be the Notre Dame box, uh, the era before the T formation changed football forever. Um, there is a website out there that talks about the history of punting in the early, a uh, history of punting in particular, but the history of punting, uh, start, the article starts with, you know, punting, or, you know, in the single wing era, you know, teams frequently punted on first and second down, or they punted on first, second, or third down, and what's really cool is the, is the article, and I wish I had the link, the article talks about a book written by Dana Bible, and I actually have some Dana Bible 1950s coaching books um, in storage, but I don't have a 40, I don't have the 1947 book. But he talks about, apparently, this is an excerpt, chart 48, quarterback's map from that 1947 single wing offense, talking about the quarterback's, the game plan. So if you're inside your own 20, get the, this is called the danger zone, get the ball out, kick on first or second down. If you're between your 30 and your own 40, run and kick zone, safe plays, kick on second or third down. Uh, you run on first. If you don't get what you want, you punt it away. You get it out of there, right? When you're uh, inside uh, between the, the f f your own 40 and their 40, this is the run, pass, and kick zone. Try long passes, long gainers, and you would still kick on third or fourth down, which is crazy, right? So if you don't get something around midfield, get it out of there, right? Surprise them with a punt. The goal was to also make sure they weren't ready to return the punt. So you would kick it on second down, and, and they would be chasing a, a, a ball around, right? Uh, and then from the from their, say, 39 to the 20, this is the forward pass zone. This is where you might pass the ball, but also fake passes, sweeps, spinners, whatever a spinner is. I have no idea what a spinner is. Uh, kick out of bounds on uh, fourth down. So when you're inside their 39, this is where you kick it to kill it out of bounds. Like rugby, you want to boot to the sideline and force a line throw and, and force a scrum way down here, right? So it's the same concept. We coffin corner. So this is the coffin corner zone, which is still true in pro football, what we call dead man's, uh, what we call no man's land. You can't make a field goal from here, so you punt. Look at this. From the 19 or from the 20 to the 5, this is called special play zone. So I'm on offense. I'm down here between the 20 and the 5, and I'm going to call lateral passes, double reverses, trick plays, and then it says keep using successful plays, and then we might do a place kick for a field goal on fourth down. That's if we're between the 20 and the 5 yard line. It's amazing. This is amazing. 1947, Dana Bible's coaching book. And then from the 5 to the goal line, this would be the 4 yard line to the goal line. Keep cool. Drive hard. Ball to best back. This is genius, and I think we should still do this today. If you've got if you've got um, a great running back, or you or just your best back, they should be touching the ball between the five and the goal line in pro football. Even today, I believe this. You know, what do you do inside the five? You give it to Walter Payton, you give it to Marcus Allen, you give it to Eric Dickerson, you give it to your best back. I think this is still true today, and we just don't see it much anymore. But inside the five. We're talking about giving the ball. So this is where you would go for it. You wouldn't even kick here. You kick here. Between the 20 and the 5, you, you wouldn't kick here. You would actually go four plays, bang, 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 trying to get it in. Very cool. I wanted to share this because I think there are people who who really think punting on first and second down was kind of crazy of me to say. Well, it's true. But to see that there's a there was a championship coach that actually had zones for how you're going to call your game, it's a pretty cool deal. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.